The Kickoff franchise is a series of football simulation computer games. In 1988, Dino Dini was hired to code a top down football game from a Steve Screech idea. In 1989, Kickoff was then published by Anil Gupta's publishing house Anko for the Atari Street and Commodore Amiga. The original version was programmed by Dino Dini with graphics, playtesting, and tuning by Steve Screech. First released in 1989, Kickoff was received well by the games industry at the time and won awards. After the release of Kickoff, several sequels were released. Player Manager was released in 1990. The game was the first game to combine a management environment including tactics, league play, transfers, and detailed player attributes with a football game engine based on that of Kickoff. Kickoff 2 was released in 1990 as a sequel to Kickoff. The game introduced a number of new features as well as several small alterations. In 1992, Dino Dini left Anko and signed a contract for Virgin Games, which released Goal, in 1993. Anko released several further editions of the Kickoff series between 1994 and 1997, but these games had little in common with Kickoff and Kickoff 2. In 2001-2003, the COA collaborated closely with Anko developer Steve Screech in an attempt to relaunch the Kickoff and Player Manager series. Kickoff 2002 was released. Anko started to work on another sequel Kickoff 2004 which reached beta status. The attempt came to a halt when Anko closed in 2003. Topic. History. Kickoff was released in 1989. Kickoff was first developed for the Atari Street and then ported to the Amiga. Several expansion discs were released for Kickoff 2. In 1992, Dino Dini left Anko and signed a contract for Virgin Games, which released Goal, in 1993. Anko released Kickoff 3 in 1994. The game used a side view instead of a top-down view and bore little resemblance to Kickoff 2 apart from the name. Anko Software published the first versions of Kickoff for the Amiga and Atari Street. Topic: Gameplay. With Kickoff, the ball did not stick to the player's feet, but instead was realistically kicked ahead from the players in a manner similar to that of Nintendo's Soccer, released in 1985 on the NES. This added a degree of difficulty and skill requirement at the same time. Other attributes, such as action replays, players with different characteristics, different tactics, fouls, yellow cards, red cards, injuries, injury time and various referees with different moods also featured. Reception Saint Action – highest accolade they could give Amiga user int. Best computer game ever. 97%. The one. Ultimate soccer simulation. 96%. Ace. Brilliant, bye bye bye. 92%. Amiga format. Best footy game to have appeared on any machine. 94%. Saint format. What a game, gem to play. Magic 90% CNVG championship winning material 95% the game's machine probably the best sports game ever 92% Commodore user no other footy game can touch it 90% Amiga action surpasses all other football games 93% PCW nothing short of brilliant new comp express computer football event of the year ZZAP 64 so realistic so fun and so addictive 96% Topic. Awards Awarded UK. 1989 INDIN Best 16-bit Product Nominated UK. 1989 INDIN Best Programmer Second place, the winner was Bullfrog for Populous Awarded 1989 EMAP Images Golden Joystick Award Best 16-bit Product, EMAP is a major UK magazine publisher. Voted the seventh best game of all time in Amiga Power. Topic Sequels. Topic 
Player manager Kick-off 2 In 1990, Kick-off 2 was released by Anko. Kick-off 2 retains the pace and accuracy of Kick-off, with a full-size multi-directional scrolling pitch and the players, markings, goals etc., in correct proportions. Both teams play the game strictly according to tactics. Players move into position to receive passes and gain possession. The ball, as in real game, travels ahead of the player. There is a league and a cup tournament with sudden death penalty shootouts, in case of a draw. The teams in the league are on the whole evenly matched but with different styles of play and the player skills to match, that style. There is an option to load your own team from, player manager, along with your own tactics, to play against another, player manager, team in a single game or enter league and cup tournament. The special events selection in the main menu allows data discs to be loaded. Kickoff 2 also provides the facility to change strip colors and on expanded Atari STs 1 megabyte or above there are additional sound effects. The action replay facility allows goals to be viewed at normal pace or in slow motion and saved to disc. There are 24 referees and have their own distinctive temperaments. Topic: Super Kickoff Super Kick-Off is one of the follow-ups of Kick-Off and Kick-Off 2 for Game Boy, Sega and SNES. Super Kick-Off was slower than the original games. The Mega Drive version knocked PGA Tour Golf 2 from the top of the charts. Megatech gave the game 94% and a Hyper Game Award, saying that the feel and playability is unrivaled by any other footy game so far, but criticizing the high price of £45. Topic. Goal In 1992, a sequel, Kick-Off 3, was in development. The game wasn't released in this form though, as Dino Dini left Anko in 1992 for Virgin Games, where he developed Goal, released in 1993. Goal, featured similar gameplay to Kick-Off 2 but also added one-touch passing as seen in Sensible Soccer, Player Acceleration, and more advanced menu systems and options. Goal, received generally good reviews but did not enjoy the same lasting popularity as Kickoff 2. Topic. Kick Off 3 In 1994, Anko released Kick Off 3 developed by Steve Screech, a totally new game with nothing in common with Kick Off 2. The game didn't receive as good reviews as its predecessors and didn't gain the same popularity. An Atari Jaguar port was in development but never released. Topic Kickoff 96, 97 and 98 In 1996, Toka Nono released Kickoff 96 for Amiga and Windows. The game received average reviews. In 1997, Kickoff 97 was released for Windows. The game received better reviews than Kickoff 96 but still didn't become popular. Later the same year, Anko released Kickoff 98 for the PC which received poor reviews. In 1998 Kickoff World was released for the original PlayStation, again developed by Toka and published by Funsoft. Topic. Kickoff 2002 In 2001, Steve Screech started a project called Ultimate Kick-Off with the help of an early established Kick-Off Association. The game was released by Anko in 2002 for PC and Mac with the name Kick-Off 2002. The game received poor reviews and only sold 5,000 copies. Later a sequel called Kick-Off 2004 was planned. It reached beta status but it was never released. The project ended when Anko closed in 2003. Topic. Kick Off Revival In the end of 2015, Dino Dini announced that he was working on a new entry in the series, with a control system designed for the use with an analog stick. 
Kick Off Revival was released on June 24, 2016 exclusively for PlayStation 4 with poor reviews from the main game websites. Metacritic then elected Dino Dini Kick Off Revival the second worst game of 2016, and Vice called Kick Off Revival the worst football game ever made. A delayed PlayStation Vita version was released nine months later in 2017 with bad reviews. A Steam version is in closed alpha, and invites are obtainable via Dini's Twitch channel. Aftertouch Soccer In 2016 was announced Aftertouch Soccer, an enhanced remake of Kick Off 2 produced by Kick Off World, the international group maintaining the legacy of the original Kick Off games. Developed with the help from the original author Steve Screech that gave permission to use all his graphics from Kick Off 2, it is intended as a sequel more adherent to the gameplay on the Commodore Amiga, and it has been published by itch.io in early 2017 on smartphones and personal computers. <laughs> Games in the series The Kick Off series includes the following games Kick Off 1989, Kick Off Extra Time Data Disc 1989, Franco Baresi World Cup Kick Off 1990, Player Manager 1990, Kick Off 2 World Cup 90 1990, Kick Off 2 1990, Kick Off 2 1 Megabyte 1990. Kick Off 2: Giants of Europe Data Disc 1990 Kick Off 2: The Final Whistle Expansion Disc 1991 Kick Off 2: Return to Europe Expansion Disc 1991 Kick Off 2: Winning Tactics Data Disc 1991 Kick Off 2: Super League Expansion Disc 1991 Kick Off 2: Maths Disc Expansion Disc 1991 Super Kick Off 1991 Kick Off 3 1994 Kick Off 97 1997 Kick Off 98 1997 Kick Off World 1998 Kick Off 2002 2002 Kick Off Revival 2016 Aftertouch Soccer 2017 Topic Ports World League Soccer Super NES 